Hey there, many chatters. Trilce Giron Garro here with a beautiful update for you. As you know, this is the automation tab that we have used for a while now and that we have grown to love. Well, the ManyChat team has been working tirelessly alongside seven experts of the educator group to create this beautiful, gorgeous, simplified version of the automation tab. And no, just because it has been simplified does not mean that it has fewer things. It actually has more, but easier to find, easier to use, and just overall beautiful. The first thing you will notice is that instead of having all the tabs over here for flows, keywords, little secret, sequences and rules, you're going to find them on the left hand panel. This way it's easier for you to navigate no matter how much you scroll down. Then the next thing you'll notice is that you have a gorgeous search bar over here that in this area you had it in the upper right section. Now you have it right there just below the title of the tab. So we're going to search for the word challenge. This is going to show us every single flow that we have created that includes the word challenge in the name or the triggers. And you will notice that you get to see if that specific trigger is on or off. Here you can see, for example, that the challenge template is off and we can turn it on just from this automations tab. Something else that you will be able to notice is that you now have trigger filters for your automation tab. So let's say you want to see every single comment automation that you have across socials. So we're going to go on Instagram and select post or real comments. And we're going to go to Facebook comments, just in case this is a little visual buggy. And then with that selected, ManyChat is telling us, okay, here you go. You can see every single post that has a comment automation applied to it. So if you scroll down, you will be able to see every single flow that has a comment automation on Facebook or Instagram. And here you can select to see only those that have active triggers attached to them. So let's say you want to see every single flow that has a trigger attached to Instagram. All you have to do is click where it says Instagram triggers. And just like that, you have selected every single Instagram trigger on your automation tab. Let's take a look. And as mentioned, you can set them on or off. If you see this little box, it's because there is something inside of the flow that is not allowing you to turn on that trigger. It can be an issue with your first content box, for example, for common growth tools, or just a slight error on the automation itself. So that is why, as you can see, this one cannot be turned on automatically from the automations tab with that click. Let's click clear over here. As per usual, you can see all of your flows as a grid and see the preview to them if they have been fully published and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous grid view. As you know, in this area, you had it as well, but it was not as aesthetically pleasing as it is right now with these condensed, beautiful blocks. So if you want to go back to your list, all you have to do is click over here and you will be able to see your list again. When you go into your rules, sequences, our little secret, keywords or basic automations, they will work just as they have always worked for those of you that have been utilizing them. And if you go into basic automations, you will notice that they have been organized by channel. And these are the main automations that we recommend that you set up to make your ManyChat account and your automations as successful as possible. So have fun bot building with our beautifully improved automations tab.